Hello, I'm Lois Carrier, President and CEO of Carrie Marie's and Webb Wealth Advisors, the absolutely best team to get to work with. And I'm sending this weekly snippet to you, who are the most tremendous clients a firm could ever have, as well as to good friends and reference centers, such as estate planning attorneys and CPAs, who send referrals to us on a regular basis for a second opinion. Thank you so much. We are honored by your trust. So before I talk about the snippet, I'm going to pretend that most of you are like me and just haven't quite landed into the fact that we're in a new year yet. And I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you what the snippet is. Every Monday, the CMW team looks at everything in your portfolios to see what has happened within the last week that's of interest. And then after Monday's meeting, we send out the snippet so you also know what's going on in your portfolio. Inside each of your portfolios is 24 asset classes. Let me remind ourselves, what is an asset class? An asset class is simply a group of investments which stick together and go up together and down together. Kind of like a click in high school. Remember those? Yeah, we remember those, of course. So every week, we just take a look to see what asset class is leading the pack of 24 this week, which ones are lagging behind, and are these the same asset classes that were in the same position last week? Now, I... You hear us talk about each portfolio is custom made for you. So how do we do that if all the portfolios have the same 24 asset classes in them? Well, the custom design of the portfolio comes from each of you having different percentages in the various asset classes. Because guess what? No two of you are alike. We believe that each investor should have their own portfolio and don't believe in a one-size-fits-all portfolio. With that said, let me move into this week's snippet. Uh, well, I have to tell you that when we look into the portfolios on Mondays, I find it a little boring. So I imagine a great big racetrack of horses. And on this racetrack, there are 24 horses or asset classes. So every week, we're looking to see which asset class horse is ahead, or maybe which ones took the lead from last week. What about the middle of the pack? What's going on there? Has anything changed? And what about the ones lagging? Are they the same ones that were laggers last week, or have we had a new lagger drop into last position? Because each asset class will eventually lead the pack and also be the lagger. That's just what asset classes do. That's why they're in your portfolio. And this would be hard to believe, especially if you love racehorses like I do, but sometimes a horse won't even bother showing up for the race. You think I'm kidding, but let me tell you something. Commodities didn't come even come out of the barn for eight years. I think you ate straw and got fat. The good news is that commodities is finally on the racetrack again. Not to give the horse a bad name because this is one one this is the horse which many times leads the pack during the bear markets. I think it's an attitude that says, hey, wait a minute, you may be pulling everything else down, but not me. Watch this. So what did we see Monday in your portfolios? The market rally of 2017 continued into the new year with large companies outperforming small companies and growth companies outperforming value companies. Interesting to note, foreign equities have kept in step with U.S. markets, which doesn't happen often and is really quite exciting. With domestic and foreign both pulling together, we have a GDP rising and a positive attitude within companies like ours towards growing again. These two markets pulling together is reassurance to us that this market is a strong market. Definitely good news. Now, emerging market stocks still continue to lead global e equities. No bell ringer here because I've saved the bell not for an asset class, but for the year 2017. Because 2017 ended with all 24 asset classes, equity and fixed income benchmarks covered by us, all in the positive. What a tremendous way to end a year. So the bell ringer goes to the year 2017. So from all of us to all of you, Happy New Year, and may 2018 be as great as 2017. And I, I'll see all of you again next week with your weekly snippet. Thank you.